Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Unwelt here, back again with a brand new video. In the last video, I showed you how to set up the Unwelt editor for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Just basic setup so you can open the Harry Potter game worlds, levels, move around the worlds, add your own stuff. And this time around, we're doing it. We're doing the real thing. We're going to get started. We're going to make our own brand new handmade custom level. So, let's get started. Make sure you've got the Unworld Hub downloaded. I showed you in the last video how, and I've got a link in the description as well. So, launch your editor. Off we go. There we go, launches up. Beautiful picture there. And you've got your four screens. So how do you actually go about making your own level to play, to share with your friends, all that cool stuff. So, in your 3D view, you'll see it's just empty just all black, nothing there. What you want to do then, the first thing you want to do is right click this cube thing, we're going to add a cube, we're going to add a box, and we're going to put our player inside the box. So right click, and this will show you the height, width, and breadth, basically the different dimensions of the box. We'll just, just leave them as they are for now, we're not going to make a big box. Click build. And now in your 3D view, you can see this beautiful red box appearing here. How do we actually get something inside this box? Well, on the left again, there's this thing here called subtract. If you click it, there we go. We've got some basic textures here. They look kind of ugly. So um, we're going to switch them out, put some really nice textures there. For that, you go to your texture browser here, up here, and go to your Harry Potter 2 textures folder. HP2, textures, I'm going to use the master textures basically, HP2 master, there we go, double click that, lovely. For now we want to just have some walls, how do you actually apply a texture to any surface in the game? So once you open your category, you'll see textures here, there's two ways to apply a texture, one, you click on the surface, in the 3D view, and then you click on the texture. The other option is you click a texture you want and then you right click the surface, apply a texture. What we're going to do, we're going to apply a simple wall texture, I'm going to choose this one here. How do you apply textures to every single surface? You click a surface, then you hold Shift B on your keyboard, well you press Shift B on your keyboard, it selects all the textures and then you can apply the texture that you want. Also you can select all of your surfaces and then click on a texture and it will do the same thing. Let's go with this one for now. Actually, is there another better texture here? I'll use this one, this looks a bit more bright. There we go, that's that's our textures done for all the, all the surfaces but we need to change the surface and the floor because these are not walls. Let's start with the floor first. Click your floor surface and in your textures browser go to the floors category and I'm going to pick a nice carpet texture here because I love carpets and because I'm a Gryffindor I'm going to go with the red carpet here. Lovely. Ceiling again. Same process, same drill. Go to your ceilings category and you choose your favorite ceiling. I am going to choose this one, that's pretty common in the games. So now that you've added all these things, and if you don't know how to move around, I showed you in the last video how to move around the world, so check that out if you're still if you're still confused. What we need is we need our player. The first thing we need to do in any Harry Potter game is to make sure that we have something called the player start. So right click on the floor and select Add player start here. This is basically how this is starts off the game basically this player start thing. Now that we've got that we can also add Harry. So in your actor browser here in the top scroll down click pawn player pawn and UW and then go Harry. There we go. Adding Harry here. 
looking handsome. We can just rotate in the top view. Uh, actually, I'll show you as well. We can rotate this guy. So, if you go to your top view, hold down the control button and hold down the right mouse button and then move the mouse. It will rotate. There we go. And with the left mouse button, we'll put him right in the middle. What you're going to need for this as well is you're going to need some lighting, otherwise the, the world isn't going to... Basically it's going to be really dark. So if you build your level, if you, if you click build all, you will see it's super dark. So we're going to add a light here. Right click on the ground, add light here. We're going to, in the top view, move, move it to the middle. And in your front view, or your side view, whichever one, Move it up as well, to the middle. And if you build all, you will have some light there, but... So let's copy this light, so that we've got more brightness in the room, because it's, it's still looking a bit dark. How do you do this? You move this to the side, and you press Ctrl W. Press Ctrl W to make a copy. There we go, and then we can move that copy to the side as well. Now we've got two light sources and the room doesn't look so damn dark. So you're done now, all that's left to do is you click build all and then you go file, save this as your map. I'm going to save it as tutorial 1. Actually it doesn't matter where you save the map, I'm going to save it to my hub folder. So it doesn't get mixed in with the game maps. There we go, just save it here. Save it wherever you want, doesn't matter, I'm going to save it here. Tutorial 1. So, that's it. Now that our level is done, we should go ahead and test it. So you can close your editor, browse to your map. Mine's going to be in where I saved it here. Tutorial 1, click open, and then you just click launch game uh. Uh.